This is Fusion Noob and I'm Klaus. Green screens, don't you just love them? I do, but it's pretty easy to do in DaVinci Resolve. But how do you actually do that in Fusion? Let's have a look at how to remove green screen in Fusion. Let's get right to it. <laughs> Welcome to Fusion Noob. So today we'll have a look at how to remove a green screen. Here we have a up here from the media in we have a clip of me with a black magic camera. And let's see how we actually it's going to do that. First thing we are going to do is we are going to need to do some kind of a garbage mat. And first thing we'll just use the let's see a polygon. So let's just drop that down. So, and if we highlight that and we'll go to, to one, we can see that, but we, we can actually do what we need to do over here. So let's just uh, draw a shape around me. So we can remove this garbage out here. So one thing to keep in mind is this, um, green screen shot is done without any lights so it's not the best green screen i have ever done it's but it looks pretty decent and then i did do a basic correction also so here we have our garbage mat okay so now we just need to push control spacebar uh, and we need to find a clean plate here we have our clean plate and we'll say okay to that. But we do not want it to be here. We want to disconnect that from that. That's the thing. If you uh, highlight your, for instance, the polygon here, it will just link those together. And that's not what I want, actually. So we need the clean plate. And then we also need a delta key. So let's see if we can find a delta key. Delta gear. Here we have our delta gear, and the delta gear I will put in between here. So if I push shift and drag it up, I, and then release, it has now become um, it's connected to our composition here. So first off, let's go to the clean plate, and then let's. Um, connect the clean plate from the input to the media one output. Let's go to the clean plate and let's go to the inspector. And then let's take our polygon tool here where we have our selection. And let's just go in here and then invert our selection because I forgot that before. And then let's just right click and drag that down and we know this is going to be our garbage mat so let's keep it like that okay so let's go to our clean plate and let's push uh, two on the keyboard so we have the um, the view here and then let's now we need to key out the green color and there's two ways of doing that either by dragging this on and in most cases, that will be just uh, fine enough. But uh, since this is not the best green screen in the world, I think we'll use another method, which is called range. So what we do in range is basically draw marks on the green where we need it to be. So it, it might take a little longer to do, but so something like that. And then we just need to go down here to um, to this grow edges and just continue to fill it out. So this is what we have from our thing plate now. now. So it should make a pretty good key. Let's find out now. So if we go from our clean plate output and then just drag that this out by holding the right mouse button release and we know this is a clean plate we'll put that on so here we actually have our delta gear this is what our delta gear sees so let's just move our delta gear to number two so this is 
actually not a, that a bad a, a key right now, but let's see if we can do a little bit more with that. So first off, we this is the final result. We can then, for instance, uh, see our mat. And this is how our mat looks. So if we go to this one, we can then adjust it a bit, like adjusting the threshold. Or, uh, so something like that. And then also we can enroll a bit. I don't think we want to do that. We can clean the, the foreground a bit. We can clean the background a bit. And then we can look at that. Let's have a look at the final result. Actually, that looks pretty good, I think. So let's have a look at the... That looks pretty good. Okay, so let's just add a background. We can simply go and drag a background from here. And then we also need to have a merge layer, which we also just can drag from the timeline. Okay, and by pushing the shift and dragging that down, we'll connect that. And here we have our background layer. So let's just drag that down. And we need to put this to the background. And we need to connect this. Again, so here we have the key. So black is a bit of a boring color. So let's change the color up a bit. Let's see. Something. that. So uh, there you have it. Let's go to the and then let's have a look at our green screen effect we just did here. I actually think it's a pretty good key considering this is one of the worst <laughs> green screen I have ever done. No light was used at all for this so it's not that bad. So that's um, how you do a green screen effect inside of Fusion and DaVinci Resolve 15. So anyway, the way this works the best is if you have any suggestions of what kind of effect I should learn to make, please write it down in the comment sections below. Until next time, I am the Fusion Noob. See you in the next video.